Hello folks, this is 3D Prof with a short tutorial on the usage of Sculptress. Once you load the Sculptress program, you can start with a new sphere or a new plane. We're going to start with a plane just as a, uh, a quick example. I pick the tool right here, which is the inflate. I tend to like to use the inflate tool. It easily pulls out detail. It was very interesting, and I didn't know it early on when I first began playing with the plane surface. Is that once you do the rotate, and basically to rotate, you hold down the Alt key and you can click and rotate. It has no bottom to it, as you can see. Now, notice what I'm doing is I'm using, clicking using the left mouse button to initially create this and pull out the structure. And I'm not necessarily creating anything in particular. If I was to use the right mouse button, I'll be pushing things in. Now notice how quickly, I don't really want it to push it in that quickly, so I'm going to use Control Z to undo. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to lower the strength. So now when I push the right mouse button, it's not going to push it in so quickly and so fast. So you have better control when you want to do something quickly or more exaggerated. You increase the strength. Again, I'm going to rotate around. You can see what's what's going on. Again, if I hit the Alt key and I left mouse click, I'm going to be rotating. Right mouse click, I'm going to be panning around. And if you use the scroll button, if you have a mouse with a scroll in the middle, the scroll will allow you to click quickly zoom in and zoom out of the object. At this point I'm going to just go ahead and do the inflate again. I'm going to make the size of what I'm inflating. Notice notice the color of the circle. The color light orange means it's got a low strength and if I decrease it more it's even lower. If I increase it, it becomes bright orange so you know you're going to be uh, the, there's going to be a, a it's going to be pulling and pushing very quickly. Now I'm going to minimize the size here And as I do this, I'm pulling this out. I'm going to increase a little bit more in certain area. Now we can use a pinch, and pinch will allow us to tweak it down and pinch it. So we can add certain detail, and then after adding that de detail, go ahead and pinch it down. You can add sharp edges to your objects this way. We can also crease it inwards. Using that crease command. Now at times you notice it's gotten a little bit bumpy in here, so if I was to move around, scroll around, you'll see it's a little bit bumpy. We can smooth it out a little bit by hitting the shift key and going along. But we have to be careful how we do that because it sometimes smooths it out a little bit more than you might want. So we can smooth out some of the bumpy areas using this technique. The same technique can be done with the smoothing here as well. We can all use, I'll use this to do flattening. So if I was to take some area, let's say down here, increase the size, and we can use this to do flattening. Flatten it out, push it downwards. Push it down, make it flat. So notice the effect, it basically flattened the things out. Again, I could then go ahead and do the pinching. To create like a sharp edge on that area that I've flattened. We 
can also use this grab tool the grab you can use the grab tool to just pull things out it's an easy way to quickly add the detail and pulling things out I'm going to go in here and and do some pinching of it but I'm also going to now turn on the wireframes you can see what happens when I do this pinching and what's nice about it is it adds detail only where you want it so now if I was to say lower size of the inflate not that low now go in here and now you see that because it's it's adding the detail only where it needs it. If I was to zoom in, and again, I still have it very small. Now again, it's adding more detail because we're zooming in and our brush is very small. And do a little bit of pinching on it. There you go. That's it for now.